Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Renee Summerauer. We're starting off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Police are investigating a fatal shooting in which a warehouse employee shot a man reportedly stealing his car. This happened Sunday afternoon in an industrial area on South Valley View Boulevard near Tropicana Avenue. Police say the employee had been loading his vehicle when he heard his car start and he went to confront the alleged thief. While at gunpoint, the driver of the vehicle started to drive off and at that point, the employee fired two rounds striking and killing the person who was stealing the car. As of Sunday, police were still determining whether or not to arrest the shooter. And the district attorney says more arrests are likely to be made in the battery case involving NFL star running back Alvin Kamara. The New Orleans Saints player was arrested just after Pro Bowl at Allegiant Stadium on suspicion of felony battery. The incident occurred the Saturday before at Dre's nightclub, but it took Las Vegas police some time to find Kamara. And then finally, uh, before the game, uh, they notified NFL security and went to Allegiant. And uh, they needed his cooperation to help identify three other people in the case. So they waited until after the game, and that's when they spoke to Mr. Kamara and then uh, took him into custody. In more news, we're seeing the collections cases related to unpaid medical claims for several Clark County School District educators getting resolved. Officials with THT Health provided an update to the school board last week, saying that some members identified as being in collections have had their claims paid off. Educators have been showing up for months at school board meetings to complain about the teacher's health trust, including uh, medical claims that haven't been paid and being sent to collections, as well as being dropped as patients by medical providers due to unpaid medical bills. The insurance provider said, quote, we're ashamed that these educators went through this situation. And love is in the air this Valentine's Day, and the Clark County Marriage License Bureau is ready for it. Just ahead of today's holiday, couples lined up outside the Bureau's office with their significant others and families. Officials say they are expecting a rush for licenses for couples wanting to tie the knot on Valentine's Day and next week on February 2nd, 2022. Now to today's weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny with a high of 78 degrees is forecasted for your Monday, but a cold front will bring us back to chilly conditions. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies with gusts up to 18 miles per hour, lows around 50 degrees. For the rest of the week, a 20% chance of rain in parts of the valley Tuesday. Also a wind advisory for Tuesday as wind gusts could reach 25 to 40 miles per hour for the day into the evening. Temps will remain in the mid to upper 60s, lows in the mid to low 40s for the rest of the week. Now to your health news, an update on the Las Vegas teen who's still recovering from blood clots in her brain almost a year later after receiving the COVID vaccine. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more from Emma Berkey. Jen? Renee, she's only 19 but has gone through seizures, strokes and blood clots after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Emma Berkey says she currently spends at least five hours a day undergoing therapy to relearn how to walk and use her hands. I had four places in my brain that were affected. According to Emma's mother, Kathy Berkey, her medical bills are in the millions, but somehow she's remaining positive. I'm just kind of going where life takes me. <laughs> like I do it for my family a lot because um, I know this isn't where they wanted to be at this point in their lives and um, I know it makes them feel bad to see what I have to go through. While their family has health insurance, some costs aren't covered. Her family also does not expect to receive compensation as the Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act shields vaccine manufacturers from liabilities. I'd like to be able to walk just like everyone else. Uh, without help, easily being able to like bend over and pick things up. Emma's mother has set up a GoFundMe page to help with her medical expenses. Sport, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Trailing 16 to 20 at the start of the fourth quarter, the Los Angeles Rams rallied to beat the Cincinnati Bengals after quarterback Matthew Stafford threw the game-winning touchdown to wide receiver Cooper Cup with a minute 25 left on the clock giving the Rams a 23-20 victory in Super Bowl 56. Cup was named the Super Bowl MVP after his two-touchdown performance. 
This is the Rams' second Super Bowl championship, their first since 1999. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Cincinnati covered as a 4.5 point underdog, and the Super Bowl stayed under the total of 48.5 points in a result that won millions of dollars for Las Vegas sports books. BetMGM won seven figures on the game despite a better winning two of three $1 million wagers placed on the Rams. Caesar Sportsbook won multiple seven figures, including $9.5 million in bets made by Mattress Mac. Las Vegas books won on the Super Bowl for the 30th time in 32 years. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, today's housing market looks nothing like it did about a decade ago. Today's housing market is fueled by low interest rates, but that was not always the case. Uh, short sales and foreclosures, you know, those, those used to dominate the housing market here in Vegas. Those have virtually disappeared at this point. Uh, so, you know, there are other differences too. Those are probably the biggest ones though. It still remains anyone's guess when the frenzy will end. In your lifestyle news, the deadline for a full ride scholarship to Nevada State College is coming up at the end of the month. The Dream U.S. National Scholarship is open to Dreamers, Undocumented, DACA, and TPS students. Information is available in both English and Spanish. Just head over to thedream.us. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Adele is promising she will be performing here in Las Vegas. Review Journal's John Katzlamitas tells us what she has to say. Adele wants to perform at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace this year, and she also regrets the late notice she gave fans for calling off her first sets of dates in Las Vegas. She said all of this during her interview with Graham Norton on his BBC talk show that is available on streaming now. Adele was in London for the Brit Awards and sang while she was over there and collected a whole bunch of awards. She might or might not be engaged. She wants to have a baby next year, so 2023 might be out for performances. Follow along because Adele is not finished making news in Las Vegas. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.